Hey guys, what's going on? It's Josh here. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be showing you how to repair and replace your Jeep Cherokee factory fender flares. Let's get started. So what I'm doing here is I'm removing the factory fender flare brackets that are on the vehicle. Um, these have to come off in order to install them back on the fenders before they go back on. I know a lot of try times I've tried to just shove the fenders back on with these brackets still on but they just never stay so you got to take them off um, and install them on the fenders with the fenders off so here you can see they come from the factory with nuts or with bolts welded to these brackets mine had fallen off rusted off so uh, if that's the case you're gonna have to weld new ones on you can see I'm tack welding new ones on here uh, the reason you have to do this is because once you've got them on, you can't get up inside there and hold the nuts from spinning while you're tightening them down, tightening the fenders down. So, just uh, tacking up some new bolts. Okay, you can see I've got them, uh, the bolts welded onto the new brackets. They're ready to be installed in the uh, new fenders I got here. They just clip in, there's little clips there, you can hear them clip in. Here's a better view of the clips. And then as you tighten these down on the vehicle, it just uh, pinches them in there even better. And just uh, really snugs them up. So. There's the click, and just the other side too. And they're all click, clipped in and uh, ready to be reinstalled on the Jeep. Now this is an aftermarket fender flare. Uh, it's OEM style, but the holes may not line up perfectly with, uh, with these uh, new fenders but they should if they don't you might just have to widen them out a little bit like I did so here I'm installing them on you they just uh, bolt down from the back I'm using some uh, some lock nuts here uh, you can use any type of bolts you have so just uh, get them snugged up until you can see from the top that they're uh, just uh, snug against the the body and uh, that's pretty much it uh, it's a pretty straightforward install like I said once you've got the brackets off and you can install them onto the fenders with the fenders off the vehicle so yeah um, I'll show you here a shot in a minute of the finished product they turned out nice uh, they were inexpensive and it just makes the vehicle look a whole lot better so here they are um, yeah I think they turned out really good so let me know what you guys think thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe